I'm Joan Wagner, and I have with me Elaine Schwartz, who is the uh, wife of Howard Schwartz that we've just interviewed. And there's a unique relationship between Elaine and Chief Justice Kay McFarland. And uh, since we can't interview the justice, I thought I'd ask uh, Elaine a little bit about how her relationship with the justice developed. So how did you get uh, acquainted? So in 1995, Howard and I started dating. I had just finished my last term in the legislature, and we had met through his brother. Um, and so we started dating, and he said to me, he said, well, when, we, when you go to judges conferences with me, your number one job is to entertain the chief. And so I got to know her real well and found out that we had a lot of things in common, whether it was sewing or gardening, animals, um, just everything. And so we got along real well and we started having her over for a lot of holidays because she had no family. And so we became very, very good friends. And then when she, before she passed, she said she wanted me to be the trustee of her estate. And I said, well, Chief, what do you want to do with your estate? And she didn't really know. She said, that's what I have you and Howard for. And I said, no, that's a big decision. So um, I was on the city council and I told her that, you know, maybe she should look at the, the zoo and doing something there. And so we showed her the master plan for the zoo because I was on the city council, we knew what that was. And there was an Asian garden in the middle of the zoo. And so we decided that, that she wanted to pay for that Asian garden. And she didn't want it in the middle of the zoo because she didn't want any rugrats running through her garden. <laughs> so <laughs> we moved it to the outside of the, the zoo. We worked with the zoo. She worked with the zoo about a year and a half before she died. And so she was a big part of what that was gonna be. Um, and it was just great to get her involved with that. Well, I think the whole community has benefited from that. I go to Rotary meetings on Thursdays in mm -hmm. Kay's garden, mm -hmm. and yes. it's good there are no rugrats running through because <laughs> they have the employees carefully moving the rocks around with these little sweepers to yes. make sure that the designs are the way that they yes. ought to be. Yes. But there's an interesting story uh, about how you managed to raise the money to put all that together. Being a city councilwoman helped, didn't it? Yes, it did. We, since it was city property, we were able to only take a partial amount of her estate and pay off a municipal bond. And so that really helped. So when she passed, there was a certain amount. We went through like two million and we still have the amount that when she passed. So we still have money to spend, but it's always um, an effort the zoo, if you've been to our zoo, there it is so awesome. And they're all, they're, the project they just finished, the giraffe and friends, actually was more than the $7 million that it cost for the garden. So I think that was like $11 million. But, wow. Yeah. So we're still working on making something very beneficial in Topeka. Well, I think her uh, legacy to this community is cemented with the addition of that garden yes, and the work that she did in the courts. Yes. Um, so I, I just wanted to thank yeah. you for doing that. We've shared a lot of interesting things. We were in the legislature together yes, and we were. both on the city council. Mother Wagner is not at, the, yeah, your, your not at the same time, right. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for still working for yes. the community. Elaine yeah. Schwartz. Okay.